na na in the sky na 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 you say na 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 popcorn na 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 moonlight na 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 in the sky na 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 you say na 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 popcorn Welcome to another video tutorial here in Crafts and Decor. We have a super fun tutorial today. We are going to teach you how to create your very own popcorn machine. It's really easy. All you need is a soda can, transparent acetate, paperboard, metal wire, and color paper sheets. Come on, let's begin! So, first here we have a piece of paperboard. This piece is 5.9 inches wide and 7.8 inches long. Now, with the help of a ruler and a pencil, we are going to mark 2 centimeters from each one of the sides of the rectangle. What we are trying to mark is a smaller rectangle inside the piece of paperboard. After we've marked the rectangle, this is how it will look. And then, with the help of a cutter, we are going to cut it. We can use a ruler to guide us so we cut it straight. Look, it kind of looks like a photo frame. We're going to need four pieces like this one, so let's do them. We're going to need another piece of paperboard. This one is a square that is 5.9 inches wide and long. On this piece of paperboard, we're also going to mark 2 centimeters from the edge to the center, and then we'll mark a horizontal line. We're going to cut the paperboard following the horizontal line we marked. This way we're going to have a paperboard strip. After that, I'm going to cut little squares that are 0.78 inches wide and long. We have this acetate and we need to cut them with the same measurements we use for the paperboard. Remember, it was 5.9 inches wide and 7.8 inches long. We also cut four pieces of acetate. We are going to use them to create windows for our paperboard rectangles. We also got these paper sheets. This is a thicker type of paper because it will work better for when we glue them onto our paperboard rectangles. We cut four pieces of paper that have the same size as the paperboard. We chose pink and blue because I think it would look super pretty that way. Now we're going to glue the piece of paper on our paperboard frames. Glue them really well and let the glue dry before continuing on to the next step. So, we glued a piece of paper on each one of the frames. They look super cute, don't you think? We want our frames to still be frames, so we need to cut the paper following the paperboard frame just like this. Do this with all four of the rectangles. Look, we have cute frames again, but they need some acetate. So now, we'll glue the transparent acetate on the back of our rectangles. Don't use too much glue so it doesn't drip and the table ends up messy. They are ready! With this, we're going to create the popcorn machine. It's going to look super, super cute, I promise! We cut a small rectangle of paper and we're going to cut waves on it. This is for the decoration. Look, we cut lots and lots of them. I'm sure our popcorn machine is going to look awesome. Time to glue the cute waves on the frames. Decorate them as you please. Here comes the most important step. We have a soda can and we're going to mark half of our rectangle on this side. And then we're gonna cut it very carefully. So look, this is how it has to look. Kinda like a small lid. This is where the popcorn is gonna be cooked. With another soda can, we're going to mark a line all around the bottom part of it. And then we're going to cut it. Be very careful. So now we have these two pieces. The big one is where the popcorn is going to be cooked. And the small part is going to be the source of heat. Oh, but first, don't forget to spray paint them. Now, with this long metal wire, we are going to create the base for the source of heat. We are going to fold it in half and then, with the help of tweezers, we are going to cut it. We are going to start twisting them together in the middle. We are going to twist them until it looks like an X shape. And then we are going to measure 3 centimeters and we are going to bend it there with the help of tweezers. And then we are going to measure 2 centimeters from each wire and bend it there too. 
So this is basically the shape we were aiming for. This is going to work as the base to support the source of heat for our popcorn machine. For the bottom part of the machine, we have another squared piece of paperboard, and we are going to mark a circle the same size as the soda can, and then we are going to cut it off. Okay, so this is how it has to look, and now it's time to glue everything together. Glue all of the frames to the square we just cut, use the correct amount of glue, and wait until it dries so the walls won't fall off. We are going to use this small piece of paperboard to help us support the walls while the glue is drying. This way it stays together more tightly and we have less risk of our machine falling apart. With these small paper strips, we are going to create the door. We are going to add a small amount of glue on the paper strips and we are going to glue them on one edge of the wall and the other part of another wall. After the glue dries, our door is going to be ready. Look, this way we can open and close it really easily. To decorate it even more, I'm going to draw some kawaii popcorn with this pencil. I'm going to make the popcorn look super cute with cute eyes and a smiley face. Now, with the help of a black marker, we'll outline the popcorn we drew, and we'll also add the eyes and mouth I told you about earlier. Then, with the help of this watercolor pen, I'm going to add blush. Look how cute they look! I made lots of popcorn, and look, I also made this cute popcorn sign for the machine. I glued a tin acetate strip on each popcorn to give it a 3D effect when we glue them. It's time to decorate the machine! First, let's glue the popcorn sign right here, and then we're going to arrange each one of the cute popcorn we made. Let's glue one here, another here, and here. We put all of the pieces together. Look how awesome this is looking. I love it. But hey, we'll still need to prove that it actually works. Let's try it out. So, we attach a small candle to this part of the machine. This is going to help us cook the popcorn. Make sure to glue the candle really well so it won't fall off. Time to put the popcorn in! We'll add a small amount of popcorn inside the soda can and we'll also add a small amount of cooking oil. Oh, and don't forget to add salt, so our popcorn tastes super delicious! Now let's place the soda can inside the machine and then let's place the candle under it. And can you hear the pop? The popcorn are starting to come out. It works. It really, really works. That looks super amazing. I can't wait to taste them. It smells really delicious too. We did an awesome job. Look at all the popcorn that is coming out. I'm getting hungry. So, here's our super cute DIY popcorn machine. It really works and it cooks delicious popcorn. You can invite your friend for a sleepover and I promise you will impress them. Or maybe you could even make the popcorn machine together. It's going to be super fun. If you had fun, please give us a like and leave us a comment down below telling us what kind of tutorials would you like to see next. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Or if you already are, please ring the bell so you don't miss any of our next next videos. This was Crafts and Decker. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye, bye.